Welcome to another video in my Unity Devlog series. This time I'm making a fishing game. Not an entire fishing game in this video, but I'm starting my first video on my fishing game. And with some cringy jokes along the way, but we'll we'll get through it. So this is a whole new fresh start to a different feature for the same game by the way, which is Pocket Fish. Pocket Fish is an aquarium game. And then I'm adding fishing to this aquarium game also so that you have an aquarium and you can also fish. All pretty cool. Let's get into it. But real quick on my YouTube analytics it shows that 86% of you are not subscribed. So if you haven't already, smash subscribe, hit that notification bell because it really helps me out. So the first thing I did is I made a scene. Then now I need some water. So I went and drew some water. It kind of looks like this and it has a linear gradient. And I also have a bunch of different layers of water that gets darker and darker so that the deeper you go as these move up, it gives the effect that you're going deeper into the ocean. And then this is the fourth layer and it starts looking pretty deep. And that's the effect that I'm gonna try going for. Let's see how I put that in. After I got all the images imported, I began to stare at this for a fat minute. Hmm. All right, to make it look like I'm going down, I'm yelling timber. Only the fish are gonna move upward. To make it only look like, just look like, we're actually going down. So, I'm gonna do a lot of thinking and I'll be right back. All right, so I quickly set up this little mock-up scene. So you have a fishing hook. So if we move this up, looks like we're going deeper, right? Uh, no, I like to manipulate my players. <laughs> Now if we play, it spawns a random fish at start. Now I need to make these fish wander. Let's go. Boys. All right, so with a surprisingly low amount of math, I set up these fish and they all kind of wander. And look at that. They keep going and then they stop and then they wander in a different direction. Anyways, now I need to make this hook move because, um, fishing yeah all right it's a new day and check it out so i spawn a bunch of random fish i can't catch anything yet but aside all this i have a really strange bug i forgot to move the spawner down with the camera and now it looks like that it's fish fireworks i think all i have to do is parent my fish spawner to my camera which is really cheeky but why are they still spawning up there all right i tried fixing the problem where if you go to the left too much, fish don't spawn. But look at this. I accidentally spawned so many fish. It looks awesome. I don't know why these colors just say Japanese. There is so many fish. Wow. Hold on, let me see. Oh my word. That is a lot of fish. Let's try going super fast. <laughs> All right, all right, I got everything working. So now the fish spawns quite nicely. Now, if we take a look at my FPS, it shows that I'm running about 900 FPS, which is pretty slow at the starting state of a project. Right here, if I go from 18 fish on the screen to zero, watch my FPS rise. Just watch it rise. Oh, wow, it's not actually rising at all. Hmm. Now, if I zoom out here, you can kind of see how my spawning system works. I just have a bunch of random fish and I spawn all the way out here just in case if the player starts moving to the right and it needs to compensate for spawning those fish. And with this being done, I want to make bubble particles just for aesthetic. So I'm going to jump into Krita and make a bubble. All right, here's the bubbles. As you know, bubbles are very simple. So I made three different types to see what I would like. So now it's time to make a particle system. Oh, uh, uh. 
I love particles. All right, so here's the bubble particles. It's pretty subtle and simple. I kind of like it. But this actually adds a good thing to the game. Now, if there's no fish on the screen for some reason, and when you're moving around, your brain can kind of use the bubbles as a reference to how fast you're moving. Unless if I just turn them off, you have no idea where you're moving. And now I want to make the hook feel less static. So let's do it. Why do I say let's do it so much? Let's go. I also say that a lot. <clears throat> All right, so this is what I came up with. So at the start, you have a string and you kind of just move the string around like this. It's, re it's really fun. It's really fun, but it's just really uncontrollable. And it's just not realistic. I mean, this is water. The fishing line is not going to do that. What I want to do to try and fix this is... Yeah, I have no idea what this means. So there's like a buoyant force that, um, so I have no idea what this means, but I guess this means I just need to make objects one third lighter. And I don't think that's going to fix anything, but let's just try it out. In theory, the fishing line is supposed to be super light and the fishing hook is supposed to be way heavier than the line, which causes the line to be pulled down by the hook. And this makes the line less uh, bouncy. Now, this kind of just makes me sad. <laughs> this is like the next Flappy Bird. <laughs> It's irritating, it's hard. I mean, this would be like a pretty cool rage game. I don't know. Now I'm gonna focus on actually catching fish. <clears throat> All right, so now with better physics, brothers, now we can catch fish and it looks like this. Kwapow! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, but it's not as cool as I'm making it out to be. Now this looks utterly horrible. Now what I want to do is give animations to make them suffer. So if I catch a fish, click, there you go. You see some beautiful wobble animations, which is quite satisfying. But now I need to make a ghost hook. And if you're wondering what I mean by ghost hook is I have an idea so that if you hit some kind of button, your hook will be invisible and you can pass through fish. So let's do it. All right, guys, check this out. My first shader. That is amazing. So whenever you use ghost hook mode, your hook kind of dissolves and glows green, which just looks absolutely amazing. And keep in mind, guys, this is a mobile game. You get these sick graphics with a mobile game. And now I think I need to add depth rarity. So the deeper you go, the better fish you get. All right, so with a couple of for loops, now I have depth for rarity. As soon as you start off, you only see a blue snapper and a minnow. Eh, don't catch a fish. And then hopefully if I get deep enough, oh, damn it. Restart. Ah, uh, there you go. But if I get deep enough, you'll find this new fish. But the only problem is I only drew five fish for my game. So there's not much variety right now and then after that i hopped into krita and made this beautiful sunset which is really easy popped it into my game and when you hit start you're confronted with this beautiful sunset and then you go down now i know that this doesn't really make sense there's a hook floating in the air at the start why is it sunset already but i just needed a little bit of surface for now and right now i want to implement so that when you catch a fish instead of simply just catching the fish it makes you go up instead of just restarting the game. All right, guys, I was confronted with a problem. So I just added so that when you catch a fish, you finally start going up. But the problem is there's no fish when you start going up. Why is this? It's simply because, as you can see, as soon as a fish goes over the camera, it destroys the fish to save me on performance. But as soon as I say don't destroy the fish, my frames start to slowly drop. 300, 200, and yeah, you get the point. And all of these fish actually look super cool in their spawn. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I fixed this problem. It was a bit head scratching, but all I really did is as soon as the fish gets onto the camera, it renders. And then as soon as the fish gets off, off the camera then it just completely stops moving and everything on it is disabled and i get my luscious 500 frames per second well i lost about 50 but hey it's it's pretty good i still got one more trick up my sleeve now my fps is at 550 so this is good all right ladies and gentlemen and if you're wondering why the audio is just so good 
it's because I just bought the Blue Snowball Ice. It's a microphone, if you don't know. <clears throat> and I came here to say sorry. I'm so sorry. Because I just did tons of things off camera, and I didn't record or show any of it. I added FPS on screen. I literally added mobile input so you can play this on your phone now. There's sensitivity and settings and whatnot, and I actually love this options menu. It looks amazing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I also added so that if you catch a fish, this thing pops up, boom, and it shows the fish that you can catch. Sorry guys, I have to catch up. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I also added lighting. So if I go to the bottom of this lake real quick, you can see that it gets really dark and it gets even darker. Well, yeah, that's about it. I guess I really didn't do that much. I mean, it looks like I didn't do much, but in reality, I did a lot of bug fixing and that stuff takes crazy long. Just now I added object pooling so that it saves on performance. What's the big idea? I'm glad you asked because if you don't know what object pulling is, basically what happens is 100 game objects are spawned at the start of the game so that we never have to spawn an object again. And instead of spawning new objects all the time, it recycles our objects and just moves them below the camera so that you can see them. And you get this kind of beautiful thing with a little bit better performance. You staying home? No. Why not? Why would I not go to the wedding? <laughs> that's disrespectful and that's not only that, it's why wouldn't I want to go? I don't know, I figured you'd want to just stay home and go, dude. Bro, how often do people get married? I don't know, Paul. I didn't think you'd go by normal rules. Sheesh. Good thing I'm recording. <laughs> you'll get to see this in the future that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy the video be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't and with that being said i'll see you next time